What's going on guys, PXCam20 back again with a brand new video. Today we have a very, very, very entertaining race as we are here doing laps on an actual speedway. It's oval speedway that's shaped like a triangle, but it is a speedway. Now, before we get into the race, I just want to have you guys know we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. It really helps out the video if you guys leave a like. And let's hit this 1,000 subscriber goal before the end of the year. All right, enough promoting myself. Let's get straight into the race. We are jumping into lap number one here as we are starting in fifth position. And we head into turn one, break a little late, but don't break late enough to where we hit the wall. But we do lose a little bit of momentum coming out of turn number one. As we jump into lap number two, as nothing really happened. And this is where the action starts kicking in. We bump in uh, lap, uh, turn, we bump third place going into turn number one as I'm so excited I can't even talk uh, we get we let him go through because we kind of feel bad for uh, punching him off so uh, I put the uh, right sig right turn signal on so they know to pass me on the right hand side as we uh, jump all the way back down to fifth place and we get back into the slipstream of the lead pack that's the most important thing you can do in this race is that you want to stay in the slipstream of whoever's in front of you, because that's gonna be the only way you're gonna be able to do anything with this race, whether you wanna win it or just get a podium. It's it's a very, very slipstream heavy race. So that's basically the, gonna be the only way that you're gonna be able to make your move. So if you see a car very, very uh, wide, uh, ahead of you guys, just stay behind the slipstream. As you can see, we are trying to do that right here with the big gaggle of cars that are right behind us. So we are now in fourth place. We're trying to make a move on third place and we get into the slipstream of second and first. Third place tries to pinch us down a little bit, but he knows that we're down there now. And uh, we are able to make the overtake there and he lives to fight another day. As we are actually catching up to the top two, they get a little bit crazy going into turn number three. They go side by side and we actually are about to lose third as third uh, place challenges us as we head into turn number one. We make a little bit of contact with the Aston Martin as we head out of uh, turn number one and we stay right behind the slipstream of the Ashton Martin but third place is trying to or fourth place is trying to uh, challenge us on the outside and are we going to be able to hold this again like we did last lap if we head into turn number two we stay in the slipstream of first and fourth actually backs out so we're able to uh, get second place and we're actually going to be able to challenge for first but we back out of the move right there as we had to break very very early in order to not hit first place Third, uh, fourth place actually makes contact with the wall, but he makes contact with us and the car behind. Gives him a little bit more power and momentum. And you can see the gaggle of cars right behind us as we start heading into turn number one here. As we head into turn number one, we break very, very late to try to see if we can make an overtake on third. But the, he makes contact with first place. And first pla the Lancer in first place is able to regain first place. So we make another attempt of trying to make an overtake on third place on the inside. It feels like deja vu as this happens every single, it's been happening every single lap. But now we're actually getting challenged by fifth place. So this might backfire on us as we try to get in the slipstream of the leader heading to turn number three. And so the 4GT is on the outside. He's got a lot better grip on the turns as he actually um, is able to complete the fourth position overtake. But we run into the wall. Fortunately, sixth place runs into the back of us and we're able to stay in the same position that we were at. As the 4GT tries to make an overtake on the inside heading into turn number one, we make contact with fourth place. Oh man, are we gonna be able to hold it here? Yes, we are. And fifth, uh, fifth that turns into fourth is actually staying in the slipstream of the 4GT and the lead pack as we lose two positions now, jumping all the way down to sixth. And fifth place actually takes a peek on fourth place but backs out of the move right there. And now it's a four-way, five-way battle for first place as we head into turn number three. The uh, Aston Martin is able to keep the first place, but we actually get bumped from behind. Make contact with fifth right there as we head into the straightaway. The 4GT makes uh, contact with the Lancer and everyone's just beating and banging, and jostling all over the place, just trying to find a, uh, a line heading into turn number one. We break very, very late and try to see if we can make the overtake stick as we head out to turn number one, and we are now in fifth place, staying behind the 4GT on the straightaway, heading to turn number two. <laughs> and uh, hope, luckily we're in the slipstream of uh, the top three because we were able to pull away from that big old mess that was happening right behind us as we are actually getting a huge run going into turn number three. We're about to overtake second, but we back out again as we are very, are all the way on the inside there. And the uh, 4GT actually brings it down all the way to the apron, takes the Aston Martin and me along with him as we stay in his slipstream. 
break off into the top again. Trying to make a move on the outside of SMR. We make contact, we bring it to the walls, we head to the final lap on the first turn. And we make contact with Aston Martin. As you can see behind us, they make contact. And we fast forward to the end of the lap here as we come, are we coming out of turn number three. We get into the slipstream of the 4GT and the Aston Martin. Are we gonna be able to make an overtake on the very last time? No, we're not. But it was a three-way battle for the win. Five hundredths of a second separated us from first place. Crazy, crazy race, crazy battle. Awesome, awesome entertainment. Anyways, we jump into uh, the second race here. We actually are starting in second place as we are we're able to uh, increase our qualifying time and better it so we can get a better starting spot. Now, I haven't been in the position of second place for this race, so this is my first time doing it. And I wanted to see if we can try to break away from the pack and just make it a two car race for, uh, for the win and just kind of keep bump drafting him all the way until maybe the last lap to see if we could break away from the pack. So we're trying to do that here and uh, we jump up into lap four and you see that it has not worked. I've been trying the, basically the past three laps to just bump draft him and try to get him away from third place and from the rest of the pack. But every single time I do that, third place just catches right back uh, right right back up to us as the slipstream is so powerful on this track we head into turn number two and we're still doing the same tactic we're getting bumped from third and we're getting um, we're bumping first place just trying to keep it clean just trying to keep it uh trying to stay in a single file line so we can try to at least uh stay away from the pack but number uh second place here actually spoils the party and he makes it too wide passes me and you can see the gaggle cars behind us now trying to uh, starting to catch up to the top two and uh, now it's gonna be a crazy dash to the finish as we jump into lap number five. We make contact with second place. Second place actually makes contact with first. First runs into the wall. We're able to sneak it all the way to the bottom, go to the bottom of the apron, and now we're leading the race as we see a huge gaggle of cars going behind us. As it's three wide, four wide behind us, heading into turn number two. Are we gonna be able to keep first place for the last remaining three laps here? As we head into the, the final straightaway that heads us into turn number three, we're getting uh, taking advantage on the outside as we jump back to everything that happened on that lap the craziness that unfolded behind us as you see first place makes contact with the wall we dive all the way to the inside and we're just in the lead right there but look at behind us the gaggle of cars that are right behind us four or five wide going into turn number two as uh, we are in the lead right there and you see actually someone the green car gets very very loose runs into the rainbow warrior a uh, car of the Jeff Gordon paint scheme on the outside. They make contact in the wall as they, we all headed into turn number three. And coming out of turn number three, we're actually gonna be right behind the 4GT as we have somebody behind us pushing us. And we're gonna try to make a move on the 4GT, try to make an overtake going into turn number one as we jump into the lap number six. Break as late as we can, but are we gonna be able to keep the move and stick it? We hit the apron. And we try to slide ahead of the 4GT, but he just has too much momentum coming off from the outside. And he actually brings third place along with him. And they both make a, a good overtake over me as we head into turn number two. We still have the, the American flag car right behind us. Hopefully he doesn't try to make a crazy overtake like he did last time heading into turn number three. We make contact with second place, but he gets a good uh, push from fourth place. So he's able to maintain second place. We actually get bumped out of the way from third and we lose two positions there. So it wasn't the American flag car that bumped us out of the way, but uh, instead another Lancer that bumped us out of the way as we head into uh, lap number seven. And this is where the race is gonna intensify even more. So uh, we get bumped out of the way from the American flag car, and, but we try to uh, get a cutback here as we head off of turn number one, getting into the slipstream of third place, heading into uh, turn number two. And we're on the inside of the American flag car, but he's gonna be able to outpace uh, us here going into second turn. He cuts right in front of us, and we try to make a move on the outside as he gets into the slipstream of fourth place, getting a huge amount of speed. We break very, very early, trying to get into third, into turn number three. We get bumped from behind. We actually made uh, contact with the American flag car, but he gets a bump from behind too. So he's able to keep the fifth place position as we head into the final lap, heading into turn number one. The, the front three are just moving left and right, just trying to break each other's slipstream slipstream as we head into turn number one coming out of turn number one second and third are fighting or third and fourth are fighting and second and first are fighting as me and the american flag car are trying to stay behind um heading into turn number two and just trying to see if we can try to at least battle for a podium finish here as for the first the front two have actually kind of pulled away a little bit 
As we come into the final straightaway, going into turn number three, we break very, very little. We make contact. The Corvette goes very wide. We make contact again from behind, and we're actually almost spinning out. Bump the Corvette into the wall. We get spun, but we actually get a tap from behind, so we're able to keep it straight. Come into the flag. The Corvette just automatically just goes into us, spins us out, and we go from what was a possible fourth position all the way down to 10th in the span of one corner. Amazing drama from this race. Whoever was at Polyphony and decided to make this race, kudos to you. This is an awesome race. Can't wait to do more of this and uh, put more videos out of this race throughout the week. Anyways, if you guys had enough, a lot of fun, as, I, as much fun as I did, I can't even talk. Um, subscribe down below, click the notification bell to be notified whenever I make a brand new video. Leave a like on the video, it really helps out the channel when you guys leave a like and comment down below what you guys thought about this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.